In this video, we are going to learn how to filter a Revit schedule using a project parameter. We are going to practice creating a plumbing schedule, but this technique can be used on any Revit schedule. Let's begin by clicking the schedule button in the project browser, right clicking, and clicking new schedule quantities. First we need to select our category. Scroll down to select specialty equipment, and then let's name our schedule. Next, we need to add the fields of our schedule, or the column headers. Let's start by adding mark, which will be the item number. And then we'll add description. And now we'll go ahead and add the plumbing parameters. So we'll start with cold water. These MEP parameters are the FCSI shared parameters. You can find them by Googling FCSI shared parameters. Once we add all of our MEP parameters, we, add a, we want to add one more plumbing remarks. Let's press OK and see what this shows. OK, so this is a very simple plumbing schedule. And as you can see, there's a lot of white space. There's a lot of items that do not have plumbing parameters. And because of that, most of the schedule is empty. So to filter this schedule, we want to be able to remove the rows of this that are empty. So many food service designers use the plumbing remarks parameter as a filter. And what you do is you come to the filter tab here and schedule properties, select plumbing, plumbing remarks, and then select parameter exists. And press OK. And what this does is it removes any specialty equipment family that does not have the plumbing remarks parameter. But as you can see, it removes some of our families that we still wanted to keep. We had some families that had gas size, and they've now been removed because they must not have had the plumbing remarks parameter. So let's return to our filter, and let's change this back to none. And now let's create our own parameter, and we'll use that to filter our schedule. And we're going to create a project parameter. And to do that, click the Manage tab, and then select Project Parameters. And then here, we're going to press Add to create a new parameter. At the top, it'll tell us to select our parameter type. We want to keep it a project parameter. Shared parameters can also be used. They can be project or family parameters, but we're just going to do a project parameter for this. This means it'll only stay in this project. On the right side, we have to select our family category. And just like our schedule, we want to select specialty equipment. Let's name our parameter. I'm going to name it Show in Plumbing Schedule. That's, this will help us understand what happens when you click to turn this parameter on or off. When the parameter is on, the equipment will show up in the plumbing schedule. For the discipline, it can stay common. The type of parameter will be a yes, no. This will give us a checkbox. And then we can leave the group under other. Also, leave this instance. This means that every family type can have a different value for show and plumbing schedule. Now press OK. When you return to this project parameter window, you can see that here's the new parameter we just created. Let's press OK. We haven't done anything just yet besides creating the parameter. Now let's add the parameter to our schedule. Return to the Fields tab and scroll down to find our new parameter. And let's add it to our fields and press OK. Now let's scroll over to the far right and you'll see our new column and all of our checkboxes. Right now these checkboxes don't do anything, but we're going to set these up to filter our schedule when they're unchecked. Let's click the Filter tab and now let's add a filter 
for show and plumbing schedule. And now we have a choice here. And there's something special about the way these checkboxes are showing up. So let me show you that first. They're grayed out like here, like this. And what this means is it they're actually not yes and they're not no. They've basically just been unassigned. So because they're grayed out and they're not yes or no, we want to create our filter for a show and plumbing schedule to does not equal no. And the reason for this is the opposite of this would be equals yes, but because these have not been set yet, these technically do not equal yes. So we'll set it to does not equal no and press OK. And you may have just seen the three unchecked families have already been removed. But as we click now, the first click turns this into a yes, and the next click turns it into a no, and then because of our filter, it removes it from the schedule. So now we're able to just quickly click through each of these families and manually remove them from the schedule. And that is how you create a schedule filter using Revit project parameters.